in this session we will discuss about the cellular respiration the cellular respiration means the respiration is a takes place within the cell that is called cellular respiration respiration means the complete oxidation of organic food substances is called cellular respiration so generally the respirations are two types aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration aerobic and anaerobic respiration in aerobic respiration is followed by three steps first one is glycolysis first one is glycolysis second one is krebs cycle and third one is electron transport system so these three steps are under the aerobic respiration we will in this class we will discuss about the glycolysis glycolysis means that is what is the uh, what is the definition of glycolysis the glycolysis is uh, it is a greek word glycos means glycos means sugar lysis means uh, splitting of hexose sugar that is called glycolysis the glycolysis is also known as emp pathway emp pathway since it it was discovered by three science, uh, scientists emden meyerhoff parnas scientists so these are three uh, scientists are discovered the emp pathway or glycolysis pathway so where is the glycolysis is a uh, takes place the glycolysis reaction reactions are takes place within the cytoplasm of the cell cytoplasm of the cell next what is the main concept of the glycolysis the glycolysis is the process of the partially oxidation of glucose partially oxidation of glucose so this is the the main process is uh, uh, in the glycolysis so what is the end product of the glycolysis so during the glycolysis one glucose molecule is converted into the two molecules of pyruvic acid so finally end product is two molecules of pyruvic acid so it is occurs in the cyt uh, cytosol of the living organisms and most important uh, uh, concept in this glycolysis the glycolysis is a common in a common in aerobic and anaerobic pathways so this is a glycolysis introduction next uh, the glycolysis the glycolysis is consists of uh, the ten reactions are there so that uh, in that uh, ten reactions are followed by the enzymatic uh, reactions so in this uh, glycolysis uh, the first reaction is called the first reaction is called phosphorylation of glucose phosphorylation of glucose so in this reaction the glucose molecule is converted into the glucose 6 phosphate glucose 6 phosphate in this reaction is called phosphorylation in this reaction one atp molecule is utilized one atp molecule is utilized so this reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme that is called hexokinase exo kinase so this is the first reaction in glycolysis that glycolysis first reaction is phosphorylation of glucose the glucose is converted into the glucose 6 phosphate in this reaction one atp is consumed uh, this reaction is catalyzed by the hexo kinase okay now so this is the first reaction next the second reaction is that is isomerization isomerization so here the glucose 6 phosphate glucose 6 phosphate is converted into the fructose 6 phosphate these two uh, uh, these two are isomers so here glucose 6 phosphate is converted into the fructose 6 phosphate this reaction is called isomerization this reaction is called isomerization this enzyme is catalyzed by the isomerase enzyme isomerase enzyme so here the what is the main main purpose of the glycolysis uh, six uh, six carbon compound glucose is converted into the two carbon uh, three carbon compound pyruvic acid is formed so that is the breakdown of the glucose molecules breakdown of the glucose molecules next the third reaction what is the third reaction again phosphorylation is a takes place in the third reaction in glycolysis 
phosphorylation of fructose 6 phosphate is converted into the fructose 16 bis phosphate fructose 16 bis phosphate here here one atp is also consumed in this reaction that is called phosphorylation so this reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme phosphofructokinase phosphofructokinase so this is the uh, enzyme so here from this uh, uh, pathway in uh, pathway of glycolysis the first reaction is phosphorylation and the third reaction is uh, again phosphorylation is there okay now, so this is the third reaction next what uh, uh, next reaction in the glycolysis that is the uh, uh, cleavage of the fructose 16 bis phosphate cleavage of fructose 16 bis phosphate in this fructose 16 bis phosphate is consist of uh, three carbon compound this is also uh, three carbon compound these three carbon compound is uh, uh, splitting into the three carbon compound this is a three carbon compound dihydroxy acetone phosphate this is a three carbon compound and uh, glycerol head three phosphate this is also three carbon compound okay this is the fourth reaction cleavage reaction cleavage cleavage means that uh, in this reaction fructose 16 bis phosphate is uh, break down into the three carbon compounds dihydroxy acetone phosphate and glycerol head 3 phosphate so this is the fourth reaction this and uh, this reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme that is called aldolase enzyme aldolase enzyme next uh, in this uh, glycolysis uh, the fifth reaction is called uh, interconversion of interconversion of dihydroxy acetone phosphate to glycerol head 3 phosphate again glycerol head 3 phosphate is converted into the dihydroxy acetone phosphate this is this reaction is called interconversion of triose phosphates interconversion of triose phosphate this reaction is catalyzed by the isomerase enzyme this reaction is catalyzed by the isomerase uh, isomerase enzyme next uh, fifth reaction in glycolysis uh, fifth reaction in glycolysis uh, the two molecules of glycerol head 3 phosphate is converted into the glycerol head 3 phosphate is converted into the 13 bis phosphoglycerate 13 bis phosphoglycerate in this reaction in this uh, this reaction is called oxidation oxidation of glycerol head 3 phosphate glycerol head 3 uh, 3 phosphate this reaction is called oxidation this reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme dehydrogenase dehydrogenase means from this reaction one one two molecules of NADH2 NADH plus or H plus is uh, produced from this uh, reaction here yeah, this is the first oxidation reaction in a complete oxidation of the glucose molecules okay so this is the uh, sixth reaction what is the sixth reaction oxidation so what are the end product of the sixth reaction 1 3 b phosphoglycerate means here two molecules of inorganic phosphate is participated and uh, two molecules of NAD, NAD plus is participated and then, then produce the two molecules of NADH plus and H plus is uh, produced. So this reaction is uh, oxidation. This is the first oxidation in a complete oxidation of the glucose molecule. Next, uh, seventh reaction, this is the most important reaction in glycolysis. Why? Because that is a 1,3 bis phosphoglycerate is converted into the 3 phosphoglycerate. 3 phosphoglycerate means here in this reaction, that is this reaction is called substrate level phosphorylation. Means what is the substrate level phosphorylation? Here directly, directly two ATP molecules are produced during the seventh reaction. That is what is the seventh reaction? That is a, a pass for uh, the transfer of pra, uh, transfer of phosphate group from the uh, from the third carbon uh, th third carbon of the phosphoglycerate to the uh, to the three phosphoglycerate means here pa one pass one phosphate group is a transfer 
to the ATP molecule so that ADP is converted into the ATP. Here two ATP molecules are directly produced during this glycolysis. This is called substrate level phosphorylation. So in this complete glycolysis, the first substrate level phosphorylation is a takes place in the uh, first uh, substrate level phosphorylation is a takes place between the 1 3 piece phosphoglycerate to 3 phosphoglycerate so this is the seventh reaction this reaction is catalyzed by the phosphoglycerokinase phosphoglycerokinase next eighth reaction in this eighth reaction that the 3 phosphoglycerate is converted into the Two phosphoglycerate. So, what is the reaction three per year? That is the three phosphoglycerate is converted into the two phosphoglycerate. Here, this is a conversion of the three phosphoglycerate, three phosphoglycerate to two phosphoglycerate. So, this reaction is catalyzed by the mutase enzyme. Mutase means that the phosphate group is a, a transfer. Uh, that phosphate group is a transfer from the uh, from the third carbon position to the second carbon position. That uh, that uh, the changing of the uh, phosphate group from uh, from one place to another place by the enzyme that is called mutase enzyme. So this is a eighth reaction. Next ninth reaction. Two phosphoglycerate. Two phosphoglycerate is converted into the. Uh, converted into the phosphoenol pyruvate phosphoenol pyruvate so in this reaction two water molecules are produced two water molecules are produced that's why this reaction is called dehydration reaction this is dehydration reaction next uh, this engine this reaction is catalyzed by the enolase engine this reaction is catalyzed by enolase engine so this uh, ninth reaction in glycolysis that is a uh, dehydration dehydration so next uh, uh, last reaction in uh, glycolysis uh, the two molecules of phosphoenol pyruvic acid is uh, converted into the pyruvic acid two molecules of pyruvic acid here the last reaction in glycolysis it is also uh, that is uh, involved in the substrate level phosphorylation what is the substrate level phosphorylation directly atp molecules are produced from the uh, from this reaction phosphoenol pyruvic acid is converted into the pyruvic acid here two uh, two molecules of adp is converted into the two molecules of atp are produced during this reaction this reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme that is pyruvate kinase so this is the last reaction this is the last reaction is called substrate level phosphorylation substrate level phosphorylation so next in the seventh reaction that is a substrate level phosphorylation is there totally from this glycolysis two substrate level phosphorylation reactions are takes place and one oxidation reaction is that takes place in the glycolysis so what is the conclusion about this glycolysis what is the main purpose of the glycolysis in this glycolysis complete glycolysis process two atps are consumed two atps are two atp molecules are consumed then then during the substrate level phosphorylations here two atp molecules are produced here two atp molecules are produced total four atps are produced total four atps are produced means uh, in this four atps two atps are consumed then net gain atps are two atp molecules are net gain atp molecules next the ox during the oxidation of the oxidation of glycerolohyde 3 phosphate is converted into the 1 3 piece phosphoglycerate here two molecules of nadh2 nadh plus h plus is produced one nadh2 is equal to 3 ATPs, equal to 3 ATPs. So what are the uh, 3 ATPs? Next two molecules of NADH2, me, one, one NADH2 equal to 3 ATPs and uh, two NADH2 is equal to 6 ATPs, 6 ATPs. Total here uh, uh, 6 ATPs are produced during the uh, oxidation reaction. Next, what are the, uh, how many net gain ATPs, uh, how many net gain ATPs, uh, 2 ATPs. These 2 ATPs plus 6 ATPs, total 8 ATP molecules are, 8 
ATP molecules are uh, uh, produced during the glycolysis process. So this is the partially breakdown of the glucose molecule. Partially breakdown means that is incomplete breakdown, incomplete oxidation of the glucose molecules. Then the glucose is converted into the two molecules of pyruvic acid. Okay. So this is the complete uh, the biochemical reactions in uh, glycolysis. This topic is uh, cellular respiration, cellular respiration topic.